John Cena made his WrestleMania return in 2020, but it now seems that just as Cena's big return started, it will end just as quickly, as a new rumor now reports that John Cena is officially retired from wrestling, and his match against Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania 36 was the last match of his career. This is because John is now a big time movie star in Hollywood, and he fears that if he continues wrestling, it could lead to injuries that will severely hurt his movie career, and he can make a lot more money in Hollywood than in WWE. And while it seems that John is now officially retired from the wrestling business, he might still make occasional appearances on Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown as a favorite of Vince McMahon, but only in a non-wrestling capacity, such as having a talking segment in the ring or promoting one of his movies. The Undertaker recently had one of his best matches in years against AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36. After the match ended, many reports started to circulate that The Undertaker's match at WrestleMania 36 was his last match ever, and he has retired from wrestling, even though no official announcement has been made by The Undertaker or WWE officials. Word is going around that the retirement is true, and The Undertaker's match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania 36 was his final wrestling match ever. The Undertaker decided to retire because he felt that his WrestleMania 36 match was the best way to end his career, because many of his matches over the past few years have been seen as disappointments, and he wanted to retire with a great match the fans will be talking about for years to come. The future for The Undertaker's life after wrestling is not clear, but he has once again shown interest in acting in movies or TV shows, which The Undertaker has done in the past. Roman Reigns shocked everybody when he announced that he would not compete at WrestleMania 36. Roman Reigns has been off television since late March 2020, and many fans want to know when Roman will be returning to television. Sadly, it looks like that won't be happening anytime soon. Rumor has it that Roman Reigns has secretly retired from wrestling, and he will not be returning to WWE. Roman Reigns is not happy that he had to retire, but because of his past issues, he had no choice but to retire. Roman realized that it would be a very bad idea if he kept wrestling, and Roman also realized that he has nothing left to prove in pro wrestling, because he has won every major championship and he has already many vented multiple WrestleManias. Roman Reigns might change his mind in the future, but for right now, Roman Reigns is retired, and there is nothing that will be changing that fact anytime soon. It was recently announced that Cain Velasquez was fired by WWE. This announcement shocked many fans, but the announcement did not shock Cain Velasquez. Word is going around that Cain Velasquez secretly retired from wrestling in early 2020, but he didn't tell WWE until recently because he was hoping that he could still work for the company. In a non-wrestling capacity, Cain Velasquez's injury problems led to his retirement, and once Vince McMahon found out that Cain Velasquez retired, he immediately released him from his contract. Ever since Goldberg lost the Universal Championship to Braun Strowman at WrestleMania 36, he's been missing from WWE, and Goldberg fans have been asking, where is he? But now according to a leaked backstage rumor, we may have the answer to that looming question. The rumor explains that Goldberg, who is now well into his 50s, was only signed to wrestle two matches. Bray Wyatt at Super Showdown, and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 36. And even though Roman Reigns was replaced by Braun Strowman, Goldberg was scheduled to lose the championship. Either way, because Vince McMahon did not want to pay Goldberg past WrestleMania 36. This is because it's rumored that Goldberg received the hefty sum of $1 million per match. And because Vince McMahon is now concerned about saving as much money as possible, he told Goldberg that unless he would take less money, he could not afford to have him in WWE. And reportedly, Goldberg refused to take less money. And he decided that if Vince wasn't going to pay the big money that he believes he is worth, that he would just retire and call it a day. So that's exactly what Goldberg did, and in his mind, he is now officially retired from wrestling, and he will never step back into the ring ever again. 
Many people were surprised that Triple H did not compete at WrestleMania 36. Triple H has not wrestled since June 2019, and there is actually a reason why he hasn't wrestled since then. Triple H recently celebrated his 25th anniversary for being a member of the WWE roster. Word is going around that the anniversary segment on Friday Night SmackDown that featured Vince McMahon coming out and turning off the lights on Triple H and Shawn Michaels during Friday Night SmackDown was actually done to signal to fans the lights have gone out on Triple H's wrestling career and he has retired from in-ring competition. Triple H will continue to occasionally appear on Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown, and NXT, but he will never wrestle ever again. Samoa Joe surprised fans in April 2020 when he returned to Raw as a commentator. Samoa Joe recently served a 30-day suspension, but right before that, he suffered an injury, which led to him staying out of action even longer. Mr. Command is a big fan of Samoa Joe's past work as a Monday Night Raw commentator, which is why Vince brought him back to do commentary for Raw. This has led to rumors that Samoa Joe has no interest in wrestling anymore, and he now wants to become a full-time commentator. And there are rumors that Samoa Joe has secretly retired from wrestling without making an official announcement. Samoa Joe might one day announce his official retirement, but for now, he will be keeping it a secret from fans. Rob Gronkowski recently announced that he will be returning to the NFL. This announcement shocked many wrestling fans because we have yet to see Rob Gronkowski compete in a real match for WWE. Vince McMahon was caught off guard with this announcement but he doesn't want to release Rob Gronkowski anytime soon because Vince now believes that Rob returning to the NFL will actually help promote WWE, which is why Rob is yet to lose the 24-7 championship. There are reports that until Rob Gronkowski leaves the NFL again, he will not have a real match for WWE. And once Rob Gronkowski loses the 24-7 championship, he will secretly retire from wrestling, but he will stay under contract with WWE and make occasional non-wrestling appearances on WWE television during the NFL offseason. And Rob will also help promote WWE as well. In June 2020, AJ Styles will be turning 43 years old. And even though AJ doesn't wrestle like somebody who is almost 43, AJ Styles is keeping a secret that many fans don't know, and that is the fact that it's being rumored that AJ Styles has retired from pro wrestling. AJ Styles said a few years ago that he would be retiring from wrestling once he turned 42 years old, which would have been in June 2019. AJ is currently 42, but in June 2020, he turns 43, and AJ's wife is not happy that AJ decided to wrestle nearly another year. AJ Styles didn't want to retire so soon, but he had no choice because he made a promise to his wife that he would retire when he turned 42. It's very possible that AJ will change his decision and come out of retirement in the near future. But for right now, AJ Styles is retired, but there are rumors that he could stay under contract with WWE by becoming a manager for up-and-coming wrestlers. Brock Lesnar lost his WWE Championship to Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 36, and ever since then, Brock Lesnar has been missing from Monday Night Raw. So where exactly is Brock Lesnar? The answer might be troubling to many Brock Lesnar fans, because a new report states that Brock Lesnar has decided to officially retire from WWE, pro wrestling, and MMA altogether as he now believes he's made more than enough money to live comfortably with his family, and he never has to work another day in his life. And even Vince McMahon has publicly admitted that Brock Lesnar is now officially gone from WWE. No matter what wrestling fans think of Brock Lesnar, he's been a huge ratings draw for WWE. And now without him, TV ratings have been on a steady decline. But reportedly, Brock has told close friends that even if Vince offered him a huge new contract, he would never come back to the company. As in his mind, the days of him being a wrestler are now behind him, and he is now only focusing on being a husband and a father.
Who do you think will retire next in 2020? Leave a comment and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe for more WWE rumors.